I'm Devin Bonebreak, host of the Golf Fix, and we're here on the Wedge Range at the beautiful Mission Inn Resort and Club, home of the legendary El Campeon Golf Course. And we're talking today about three-quarter wedges. There's two types. We got the flighted wedge, and we also got the high soft shot. And there's a time and a place for both. So low flighted wedges, I really like those when it's into the wind, the pin is middle or back, helps control the distance, helps control the spin, a little bit easier to make good contact generally. However, if you have a raised green, a front pin, or you're downwind, you gotta stop it more with your landing angle. Let's talk about how to do that. So I have my highest lofted club here, my 58. Some of you might have a 56 or 60. Take your highest lofted club, and I created a little wedge gate here. So it's about three and a half feet high, and it's about six feet away from me. You can tape these alignment sticks together. You can put a noodle on top. I think it's very good for the visual of trying to hit it over that. We're gonna talk about how to get it in the air more quickly. So when you set up, what I want you to do, I want you to set up with the ball middle and very important, the shaft very center and then stance is slightly narrower than a normal shot but not quite as narrow as like a pitch or a chip. And then what I want us to try to do, face square so we get some distance. And then going back, it's all about making sure we're matching the rotation of our body with some set in the hands and, hands and arms. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to hinge it up so that when your left arm or your lead arm is parallel to the ground, you're making about a 90 degree angle here. Maybe even a little bit more if you really want to hit it high. The more the club works up, down, and back up quickly, the more likely the ball is going to go in the air. The more it's wide and dragged, the more it's gonna to tend to shoot out a little bit lower with spin. So in this case, we wanna get it up and back up. And then from this down the line view, what we're really looking for is we want this club, as you get to that motion, to be pointing pretty much at that target line. We wouldn't want it to be so flat it points at the horizon. We wouldn't want it to be steep so it's pointing at our shoes. From here, it's gonna be hard to get back to a good spot. So the more that you have a half, three quarter, you know, full swing, the more that you're kind of on plane back and through, the less you have to adjust, the easier to just control your distance, the more you can use your body, and you don't have to transition so quickly. So what I want us to do is take our setup, and I'm just gonna have you choke down a little bit. We're gonna try to get that L back, point at the target line, come through, L through, point at the target line, and check the club face. When you come through, I want this club face to be square or even a little bit to the right of the shaft. If we get it super turned over, it's gonna tend to go low, left, and it's gonna have less spin. So we'll do that a couple more times. L back, L through, L back, L through. And you can really see here that the club head is changing a lot through impact, which is gonna help give you a little bit more height. So let's go ahead and give it a shot here. I'm gonna try a couple. The big key here, mentally, the huge key is try not to let this affect what you do. So a lot of times I'll see when people are trying to hit it high in the air, or they're trying to hit it over something, they'll tend to try to change what their body's doing. They'll fall backwards. They'll try to lift it. They'll do things that are actually gonna cause the ball to go lower because they're trying to get it to go high. So if you employ this technique, it will go high automatically. Trust the system here and we'll be in good shape. So club up on both sides. I'm gonna give it a shot here. Ball middle, hands middle. I'm trying to make sure I make an L back and an L through and finish with the face a little bit more on the open side. So got over it, no problem. Definitely a higher, softer shot. I'm gonna hit a couple more. Big key here also is to make sure that even though you're trying to get the club up on each side, that we don't just use our hands and arms. I wanna really make sure that you're turning both directions and the club, the arms and the hands are really working in unison together and it's not just you trying to move that club head so fast. Let's do it again. Ball middle, L back, L through. That one felt really good too. I think I moved my body through a little bit better there so I got a little bit better contact but Definitely a higher launch angle. It's gonna stop a lot steeper. So like I said, you can stop a shot with spin or you can stop a shot with landing angle when the ball's front, greens are firm, you know, out of the rough. Sometimes the landing angle is your best key. So understand distance wedges, you can hit the low spinner. A lot of times though, the high soft shot is gonna be your key. You can hit it high and stop it where you want. You're gonna have a lot more short putts and make a lot more birdies.